Hi, I'm Gory, and I'm a talkie. Talkies help kids exchange voice messages with their friends and their grown-ups. It's a, it's a lot like a tin can telephone, but our messages travel over Wi-Fi, not yarn. Kids have really important things to say, and we make it easy for them to say it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Plop! A bit t-shirt around so we can show them how we work. It's really simple. You just pick one of your grown-ups, record a message, and then hit send, and that message will goes to go to their phone. Or you can pick another kid, and that message goes to their talkie. I love what I do because I bring people closer together. Hey, honey, you miss me? Hey, honey, you miss me? I'm, I'm so good at my job, I, I even get people to hug and, and to tickle. Our, our mission is simple, and that's to keep people connected to the people, I mean, that's to keep kids connected to the people that matter the most. <laughs> yes, I do like candy. It's, it's literally one of my favorite vegetables besides celery. I like to watch cat videos on YouTube when I need to relax. This may sound a, a little peculiar, but I've always wanted to, to go to the bottom of the ocean and drain it. Hi, I'm Kibeto, a friendly wooden robot for small hands with big imaginations. When we're together, there's no screen to stare at or reading to do, and I'll help you learn computer programming through hands-on play. My blocks are code you can touch. My board is my control panel. Use the blocks to write programs that help me go from A to B. We'll visit cities, galaxies, oceans. And where we go is up to you. So what are we waiting for? I'm Cubeto. Let's play. Meet JD, an easy robot humanoid assembled with easy bits. Robot parts that clip together. With guided 3D instructions. This is your personal robot. For research, experimentation, and education. Control JD over Wi-Fi from your iOS or Android mobile device. Or program him to learn new tricks, dances, or routines using the Easy Builder software on your laptop. Use JD's parts to invent something new. Additional accessories are available in our store. A breakthrough in personal robotics. Whiskey and 
I'm Tommy, and this is, this is someone really special. He's very close to me, even though he's from far away, like the distance from here to the sky. Photon arrived from a faraway galaxy, but his amazing spaceship collided with an asteroid and ended up broken into pieces. Luckily, he managed to survive. We're trying to put it together, somehow, but for the time being, Photon is staying on Earth and I have become his friend. I'm showing him what's what. How we live here, that's what friends are for. At first, he couldn't even move, and now he's running around like an adult, and he keeps developing. Whoops, an obstacle. We got that covered already. Photon quickly figured out that we, little people, love playing the most. Sometimes we like to make a mess, and we don't necessarily like cleaning up as much and that there are other beings living with us. And by the way, he's really happy when he's able to help. How do we communicate? Programming, controlling, commands, and photonic language. Photon is a great companion. When we play, and even better when we party. Thanks to him, I know that there are no black light bulbs. I keep working on these, and we're getting better. Photon is amazed by the amount of technology in our world. Now we're learning about it together, all of us. Because you have to know that my friends got to befriend Photon as well. Sophie loves to light up his eyes and keeps dressing him up. Ethan keeps on wanting to take him everywhere and Oliver to teach him new stuff. Even our kindergarten teacher says that Photon absorbs everything like a sponge and that he's a smarty. It would be great if there were more of them. I feel that more photons are going to land on Earth really soon. Let's learn coding together. Support us on Kickstarter. Meetphoton.com Hello Internet, my name's Kevin King, founder of Plum Geek. I'm here today to introduce Ringo. Ringo is a palm-sized robot based on the Arduino Uno. He's perfect for any robotics enthusiast. The wide range of smarts and sensors we've included will challenge and entertain even the most advanced programmers, yet he's still a perfect fit for anyone taking their first steps into robotics or programming. Ringo ships with 10 interesting behaviors preloaded, so you can start having fun as soon as you open the box. You can activate and control the behaviors with the included remote control. The light chase. Here, Ringo uses the three light sensors to track and follow the light. The pretty glow is coming from the two lights on his underside. You could make these any colors you want. The line follow. Here he's using the edge sensors under his feelers to see the line. His eye flashes green when the sensor on that side sees the line. The finger nipper. Here he's using his accelerometer and determining which direction he's pushed from. Then he attacks in that direction. The scaredy bug. Similar example, but he runs the opposite direction when disturbed. In this example, the gyroscope is used to keep Ringo pointed a specific direction even when disturbed. Wind him up like a clock and let him go. He returns to the starting position. Pretty cool, huh? After you learn how his sensors work with the preloaded examples, you can customize them with your own personal touch by editing our easy to understand example code. This is a great way to learn the basic structure of how a program works and to move towards more advanced skills. You can make him come to life, like he has a real personality. He drives around using a pair of pager motors. The tips of the motors make contact with the surface on either side. Both motors can run in either direction and at variable speed. This makes him very maneuverable. Ringo can determine where he is, how he's moving, and where he's pointing thanks to an onboard accelerometer and gyroscope. He can be programmed to use these sensors to go in straight lines and to travel specific distances. This control loop can be made a bit sloppy on purpose, which results in a characteristic buggy swagger. No swag? A bit of swag. Lots of swag. It's as easy as changing a variable in your code. He can show you how he's feeling with six RGB LEDs. These are the same lights used in NeoPixel products from Adafruit. Each can be made to show any color you can think of, and they can be controlled individually. Ringo can see light from 360 degrees using three sensors. He can determine the direction of light and shadows. There's sensors under the feelers that can be used to follow a line, sense edges, and avoid jumping off your table. Thanks to an onboard TV remote control receiver, you can trigger and control behaviors with the remote or teach him to respond to just about any other TV remote. 
He has three infrared light sources pointed 120 degrees apart which can be used to communicate with other Ringo bots, appliances like your TV, or used together with the light sensors to sense objects or movement nearby. The easy to use communication features of Ringo make it possible to create behaviors where many robots interact. Look, they're playing tag! To give Ringo a voice, we've included a piezo sound element. It can be used to emit any variety of buggy chirps, zips, and pings you can think of. It can also be used to play musical notes. The robot is powered from a single rechargeable lithium battery. Because he'll eventually get tired and need a recharge, we've included a complete automatic charging system right on board. To get the code between your computer and the Ringo robot, you'll use our programming adapter. This programming adapter plugs into your computer's USB on one end and Ringo's programming port on the other. In addition to programming, the adapter provides power to charge up your Ringo without removing its battery. It also allows the use of the Arduino serial print functions to debug your bug. About a year ago, I taught my son how to write an Arduino program to control an RGB LED. I'll never forget the moment when he realized he could control the blink rate and the colors just by editing the code. He pushed me off the keyboard, then spent hours writing new blink sequences. This inspired my daughter, who asked me how to program a robot. This is where the idea for Ringo was born. The kids have been a part of the design process from the start, and they would love to share Ringo with the world. As our community grows, you'll be able to visit us online and interact with others. Learn tips and tricks to customize your own bot, then share your robot's personality with the group. We'll create a library of our favorites which can be downloaded and further personalized by others in the group. We've already written software that can be easily used as building blocks in creating your own behaviors. Ringo is just the first of several robot designs we plan to release. As we grow, we pledge to continue in the spirit of the open source movement to share and to freely educate.